So, Mr. King Sala, always the one, you know, observing, paying attention, and always keeping it real. Oh, oh, okay. Special guest. This, this is the future right here. Hey, gorgeous. So, Sala. Yeah. As far as being a father, event coordinator. MC, I mean, your list goes on and on and on and on, as well as a huge leader in the Dallas community. How did you feel about your battle this past weekend? Uh, I felt pretty good about it. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely felt like a lot of, you know, just like everybody else, like it's COVID season, don't really have a lot of time to travel and compete and stuff like that. So I had a lot of battle anxiety, um, but enjoyed it for the most part. You know, the big homie Jay Crush is like one of the coldest on the planet and I'll tell I'll be open like we talked about um, she wants to get down now but one of the things that we definitely worked on we were talking about grooves and like you know people being in like the cadence of, like the music and that's something that I definitely have noticed now after being taught it properly in, in his way um, that a lot of the crumb community is missing in my personal opinion like everybody like spams a bunch of whole movements and stuff like that is sporadic not listening to the music and as you know of course we know we come from different freestyle area we know music is the first important thing you know so um, we definitely worked on that and that was the which led you know the inspiration as far as for that first round definitely. second round I absolutely hate it <laughs> absolutely hate it well I mean I don't want to be the one to say it but I don't think you should have gone second round what do you think about that one um, I had a few people honestly tell me that uh, I wish I would have said something so I didn't hand out that shitty ass second round honestly but it is what it is you know much respect to guns because like i said i i've seen him man and I, I definitely knew that like he moves better overall like in terms of like mobility and athleticism um that intro that he did he had my he had a shirt of me back when i had like a taper fade i, I literally it's a photo of me doing p90x for the first time and i, I distinctively remember like ironically dna and them told me to do it and so I was like, all right, well, you know, let me give it, let me give it a shot. And I took a photo, and he put my face on it, and so the rest of his fam. So those guys are definitely unified and entertaining. So yeah, that was definitely dope. Uh, so just off top, what were your top three most memorable battles from the weekend, without even going over footage yet? Without going over footage. Um, Lionheart versus uh, Baby Star Rip. I don't want to say all the rippers, but uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, man. you can't, you gotta keep little, it real. You know, little style ripper and um, a uh, little style ripper and Vashonda, or Lady Oof. C4, Lady S. Sister Soul, yeah, you know, so that, and of course, obviously, you know, I antics, you know, is his own Oof. man, like, he sets the bar extremely high, you know. So, aside from that, I mean, those are the obvious people, but I'll definitely say, um. I definitely love, you know, DNA and Casey, like they really set the like the bar high. Even though they're at different times, like every single time that they dance, like DNA came out there on that second day and was like it's, like he held it down. In my personal opinion, in terms of the South, he was the flagship this weekend. Like definitely set the mark. You know, and then Gambino came in there and just was like, this not finna go the way you want it to go. So, definitely. Yeah, but those those are my most memorable moments personally. So I wanna pull a silo right now and I wanna be petty. Okay. So Ronnie was bold for calling out the state of Texas uh -huh. and he thinks he's done after battling a few people in <laughs> Dallas and he hasn't even gone through Houston mm. or San Antonio aka Sparta mm -hmm. so what do you think is he done yet or nah I'll be completely transparent when we got to this session you know people were kind of honestly like standing by like I was walking around with the camera recording people and stuff like that and majority of the south was kind of like Almost instantly, like they were kind of in that tunnel vision, but it's like, yo, like this is our region, you know, this is our state. We need to set the session off. And Al was DJing. Al was the person who set the session off. Um, and so into that, we were kind of already in the mind frame, and I'm focusing on the camera and, and doing what I do. So I wasn't necessarily too concerned about the pack out itself. My personal opinion, I, I think that the South, or at least Dallas, didn't do what they were supposed to. They waited. Um, and realistically speaking, like you, we miss you're missing about almost what the other 50 percent, you know, of Dallas alone, and then you have Houston, San Antonio. So it's like, it's like, bro, you call out Texas, you know, he might have to go through that if, yep. if we're just being perfectly honest, you know, and push come to shove, you never know, people might pull up on you. 
I respect him though. He was yeah. dope. Yeah. He's raw. Yeah. I, I respect Ronnie. He's freaking sick. Yeah. Definitely one of the dopest big homies word. in the West region. Word, I mean, word. he freaking lobbed up so many different killers in yes. Zona. Indeed, indeed. So, Siler, what's next for you? Uh, for me, uh, Mississippi, out the mud, December the 5th. Y'all need to come out to that. Um, fan members, um, Tyrell, aka uh, Kid Pun, um, and Girl Siler, are kind of definitely trying to get kick the movement back up out there and like really kind of get their feet under them. You know, I know we've had some you know hurdles that we've gone through in the region, but as a whole, I think the entire region, uh, the South, like we are definitely trying to get back to focusing on the craft and being unified as as a, as, a, as a culture, or as a culture, as a, as a state region city all that so that's where i'm gonna be at definitely and i will definitely be living here for it because like i said like after watching everybody else i know i had a good round but like everybody else had in the south in my personal opinion had way better rounds way way better rounds and so that that left me something to aspire to definitely well i want to close off by saying thank you siler for all the work that you do within the community thank you. all the work that you do in the region and i always look forward to watching all your videos <laughs> every time a video comes up from siler it's like i need to watch the whole thing thank you, man. and i just love how you keep our whole region accountable and you keep it real you, i mean you heard a lot of feelings but you just speaking the truth hey, man. i want to thank you for that and keep doing what you do and keep staying true to yourself appreciate hey, it man. any last words for yourself uh subscribe youtube channel king solid tv uh follow the south 80s text we still here don't get it twisted don't get it twisted we still in here real quick my man got off you feel me? Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bear witness session, Houston. Shouts out to Judge, most definitely. Shouts out to everybody that came out. Um, Instagram, King underscore Siler, Trenton, King Siler Butler. Follow me, subscribe, like the channel. If you got anything that you want me to talk about, I, I definitely will. But thank y'all for coming out. That's it.